Hi, I'm Devin Gall. I'm Cole Lorenzen. And today we're going to talk about the Max Emerge 5 row units. Uh, first, we're going to dive in to the actual meter itself, talk about some settings, and then later we're going to go over the row unit as a whole and talk about the seed tube, true Vs, and some of the other things you might want to inspect uh, before you hit the field here this spring. So diving into it, I've got the, the meter door off. First thing to check is going to be your seals on the door. This is what seals it so you get good vacuum on there. You're probably going to want to inspect the door itself, make sure it's not damaged or cracked or any holes in it. Um, on this seal, just make sure it's in good condition. Uh, they tend to get brittle. There is a softer seal that we would recommend if you ever have to replace them to go with the softer seal. Uh, the harder ones have a tendency to wear into the seed disc itself. Uh, it's cheaper to replace the seals than it is the disc is our thoughts there. Uh, also in here you can see right here we have the soybean uh, scraper. If you're in corn, you're going to want to go ahead and pop that out and then there's a corn wheel that you can put in there and it engages the Promax 40 uh, seed disc holes to pop that seed out uh, once it gets past here to drop it down in, into the seed tube. Moving on into the meter itself. Uh, so this is where the um, seed disc would be held in. One thing you're going to want to check is the hub height. So with the seed disc on, you're going to want to spin that and it should freewheel about a quarter to a half a turn after you let go of it. If you need to adjust that for any reason, you can pull this J clip out and if you hold on the back side, you can spin that, uh, screw it in or out to adjust your hub height. The next thing is uh, our doubles eliminator up here. So you can see it's got three jagged edges. Uh, with the seed disc in, this last edge should engage about half the hole. So if you have the seed disc on, uh, line up a hole right here and make sure that it's engaged with half the hole on your corn discs. If you need to adjust that, you come around here on the back side, there's a knob. And it'll show you a, a good starting point for corn. Is good, You're going to want it to be set at five. If you need to adjust that, all you got to do is come in here and turn this knob. And you can see it's backing that up every every click I make. So you screw it in to engage it more, uh, unscrew it to back it off a little bit. Next thing are is, is our brushes. Um, pull these out and make sure you got the proper brush in for your crop. Um, these just snap in and out. Make sure those are in good condition. Um, not a bunch of bristles missing. Uh, that kind of helps uh, brush any um, additional seeds off there and, and helps keep the disc clean. Uh, so once that the seed comes around, the knocker will punch that out and it'll drop down into the seed tube. All right, so next we're going to talk about the seed tube. So to get to the seed tube, obviously you're going to take off the drive cable, take off the row unit. If you reach down in here, there's a little tab that if you pull the tab, it'll loosen to kind of give it a little wiggle and it'll pop out. So this seed tube, there isn't a lot to it. I mean, kind of the main things you're going to watch is you're going to want to take your brush, a bristle brush, or not a bristle brush, but and clean it out. Make sure that sensor's clean of all talc. Uh, if you do have a problem with the sensor, it's not on here, but typically there's two zip ties and the sensor on it. You snip those zip ties, you can pull it out, wipe that sensor down, then you just take two more zip ties and put it on. When it comes to that sensor, some different issues you might come to find. So if you actually have a sensor going bad, it will probably stop reading seed altogether where if it just needs cleaned, your population may go down as it's just missing seed. So that's one thing to keep in mind when it comes to actual diagnosing of the sensor itself. Uh, some of the few things you want to watch out on it, you want to make sure the tips of it isn't cracked, broken. You want to make sure it's smooth and there isn't any, I mean, imperfections in it that could cause problems with the seed. And another deal is when it's actually setting in the tube, you're going to make sure the seed tube guard or the frog is, is overlapping the tip of it a little bit just to keep it from, so if you do hit anything, you don't break the end off. All right, so when it comes to the gauge wheels of these, uh, much like any other planter, you wanna make sure the lip isn't worn down. There's still a little bit of lip coming up. Uh, you are, you do want a little bit of gap between the truvies there, and you do wanna make sure so when you actually pull it up, it should slightly touch the true V. When it comes to the true Vs on this row unit, uh, there's a few things to check. Uh, we wanna check the condition of the true V itself. You can see that there's a bezel on here. Uh, as we get some wear on it, that's going to wear down. Um, you know, if it's measuring anything less than 14 and a half, you're probably going to want to go ahead and replace those true Vs. Uh, when you put new true Vs on, you're going to want the gap. If you use two business cards, 
this gap in between these um, should be an inch and a half to two inches. If you need to adjust that, you got to pull the gauge wheel arms and gauge wheels off and pull the true V's off and there's going to be some shims in there. So if you need to increase that gap, you're going to add a shim. And then if you need to decrease it, you take out a shim, put it back together, and then put your cards in and uh, check where your spacing's at. And if you have any questions on anything we covered today, uh, get a hold of your local landmark dealership and we would be happy to help you out.